Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today is the day, my friends. Today is the day in which we have finally got the official season three reveal for Modern Warfare, as well as Warzone. Later last week, we ended up seeing the initial preview image for season three go live, where we saw three new operators teased and a few other more hidden details too. But that image was pretty limited in the information it gave us. Today though is quite the different story as we got the full on season three reveal. That includes the reveal trailer, which you guys are seeing in the background right now. We'll be breaking that down throughout the video. There is a lot to pick out from that. We also got plenty of other additional information as well. So today we're breaking down everything that was just revealed about season three. So if you enjoyed the video at any point, if you are excited for season three, let me know by dropping a like on it. And of course, if you're new to the channel, we are going to have a ton of season three content going up in the coming days. So feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on to stay up to date with everything there. Now, getting right into the trailer itself, it might only be just over a minute long, right? But good grief, is there a lot of information within it. So right off the bat, there is the official confirmation of quads in Warzone, as we see four players jumping out of the plane, which obviously signifies four player parties coming with the season. This is honestly something that I am incredibly excited about, and I am curious to see how this actually affects the player count, if we're going to see it change to 148 players in a lobby, or if we'll see that player count increase to 200 players, if in fact Infinity Ward is looking to have an even amount of full teams in any given lobby. Of course, they could always just keep it at 150, but that's not directly divisible by four, so you would have some uneven teams there. Anyways, we then see a clip of the SKS, one of our new DLC weapons for Season 3. This is a semi-auto weapon, nothing too too crazy, but it is a brand new addition to the weapon arsenal. Then, as we see these characters coming out of the back of this van, there is something pretty peculiar here in my own opinion, as we see one green camo and also one solid white camo, and we know that a while ago, we got word that they did want to implement some solid color camos. So maybe this is a tease for those, I'm not 100% sure, but it does definitely look like it to me. We then see Alex, aka Echo 31, drop into the map and get into a brand new reskinned attack rover, and there's more to come on that here in just a moment. After that, we then see our other new operator for Season 2, known as Ronin, and we also get a small preview of one of his finishing moves. Bigger Squads is once again confirmed, so this is at least another confirmation of quads, maybe even fives, honestly we're not too sure about that one, but quads at the very least is referenced here too. Now another new thing featured in this trailer that we sort of alluded to just a moment ago is the Fresh Rides aka Vehicle Skins, and this honestly I'm not too sure how they're going to implement it, I'm really hoping this is not like a filler item in the battle pass. Truly, in my mind, vehicle skins I don't think are anything too crazy, so hopefully they're relatively accessible, but either way, vehicle skins are coming with Season 3. We then get another view of the SKS, and also what is presumably the Renetti pistol as well, since that was also leaked via the game files. Now there is also a few new maps previewed in the Season 3 trailer too. First up we see Backlot, which is a remake of the same exact map from Call of Duty 4. So if you have played COD 4 or MWR, you are going to know this map like the back of your hand. We also see Havik or Hovik Sawmill, which is actually what we first saw as Village in the game files, but this is not actually Village from MW3 whatsoever, this is a brand new map entirely. Then we see Anaya Incursion, which is basically just Anaya Palace, and this I would assume is just a cut down version of Anaya Palace built for 6v6, which I would say is definitely cool. Honestly, I feel like even 10v10 on Anaya Palace could be a little bit too slow, so we'll see how this cut down version of Anaya plays. I'm definitely curious and, uh, and also excited to check that one out. Now, the trailer ends off with the Season 3 branding and says that the seasonal content is all free on the same day for all platforms, and that day is April 8th, aka tomorrow. From my understanding, the Season 3 update is actually going to go live tonight at 11pm Pacific Time or 2am Eastern, and uh, also, I guess I should mention, we're not exactly sure how big this update is going to be quite yet, but seeing as it is a full-on seasonal update, I would assume it is going to be pretty large in size. Now, in addition to the trailer, we also got the official Season 3 roadmap, which reveals even more about what we're getting tomorrow with the launch of the season, and also throughout the remainder of the Season 2. So, as far as the launch week content goes, 
First off, we see the three maps of Backlot, Sawmill, and also Anaya Incursion. Of course, we already knew about those. We also see that Quads will be coming tomorrow, the new Operator of Alex, the two new weapons of the SKS and the Renetti, and vehicle skins as well. So just basically everything we saw in the trailer. But the in-season updates get even spicier, you know what I'm saying? Of course, none of this content has any official release dates outside of just within the Season 3 timeframe. So some of it could come next week or the week after, or even in the final week of the season before it comes to a close. Honestly, we just don't know, but we do get a solid idea of some of the content we can expect to see over the course of Season 3. So as far as the new operators go, we've got Ronin and also Iskra. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Probably not though, knowing me. And uh, I believe Iskra is the same operator that we saw back on the initial teaser image from last week, aka Jade Struck. And both of these operators will likely be available through the shop, just like how we saw Nikto and Ronin in the shop previously. We also see that we are going to be getting the new multiplayer map of Hard Hat. Yes, you heard that right. Hard Hat from MW3 is going to be returning this season. So uh, yeah, that is definitely a big W in my book. And we'll also be getting Isle 9 as a new gunfight map during this season as well. As far as the new multiplayer modes go, we're going to end up seeing Gun Game Reloaded. Honestly, I've got no idea what that could be, but it is Gun Game at its core. And we're also going to get Reinfected Ground War. So uh, maybe this time it'll be Ground War Infected on more maps than just Anaya Palace. On top of that, we also see we're going to have a new weapon coming during the season. And in my opinion, it looks an awful lot like the M249 Saw from Call of Duty 4. And alongside that, we also see the addition of Gunsmith Customs coming in the future. That is the, uh, the Frankensmithing feature that allows you to combine multiple blueprints for a weapon to form sort of a, uh, a hybrid blueprint in a sense. Then finally for the roadmap, we see that there will be some new Warzone content, including scopes and scatter guns, which kind of sounds like snipers and shotties, and also and more, which is really just up for interpretation. But that is still not all when it comes to what's coming with Season 3 as Activision also released a blog post that goes into even more detail regarding this season's content. So here, they mentioned that during this season we should expect to see more modes and playlists that change the loot pool to specific weapon types in Warzone. And for instance, scopes and scatter guns is confirmed to be snipers and shotties only, and there will also be more ground loot diversity coming too. And that actually includes ground weapons that'll come with suppressors equipped. New weapons and blueprints will also be added to supply boxes and ground loot as well, so honestly, the, uh, the loot pool in general in Warzone is going to be getting a pretty big upgrade with Season 3. Activision also goes on to detail Demolition once more in a brief sentence. Honestly, I assumed that Cyber Attack Pro was in fact Demolition, since Demolition was originally supposed to come to the game during Season 2. Uh, but who knows, maybe they decided to delay it and it'll be something different this time around? But either way, it is mentioned for Season 3 as well. It is also confirmed that the Renetti Pistol and the SKS will be available at Tier 15 and Tier 31 in the Battle Pass respectively. So the Renetti will be at Tier 15 and the SKS at Tier 31. Now, oddly enough, this blog post also details what happened to Alex after the ending of the campaign. So uh, big spoiler alert here, mute the video for a few moments if you don't want to hear what happens at the end of the campaign. But basically, Alex actually somehow escaped Barkov's chemical facility and remained in hiding ever since. So uh, no, obviously he did not die, but he did lose a leg. And Alex will be available through purchasing the Season 3 Battle Pass as well. Now speaking of the Season 3 Battle Pass, there is one pretty cool piece of information that I did want to point out, as it was also confirmed that Riley the Dog from COD Ghosts is going to be included in a finishing move that you can unlock at Tier 20 in the pass. So for anyone who does want to see Riley back in action, you now have the chance to do so. But all around, there is a lot of content coming with Season 3 and during Season 3 in general. I would say it's likely the season will last in between 8 and 10 weeks, so we're going to have plenty of updates to go through in that time. And of course, this is only some of the content that we'll see for the season. This is definitely not all of it, so just keep that in mind as well. So, with all of that being said, that is effectively everything that was just revealed about Season 3, and the next major update we'll be getting for Modern Warfare, and that is going to wrap things up for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, or if you're just excited for Season 3, let me know by dropping a like on it. 
And of course, if you're new here and you want to stay up to date with the latest Call of Duty news, intel, updates, leaks, and pretty much everything in between, feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on. That way you'll always know when I upload a new video. As always, if you want to check out any of my partners, be sure to use code IMMORTAL on all SCUF, G Fuel, Control Freak, and Respawn products. All of those links can be found in the description below. And once again, thanks so much for tuning in. Until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.